What's up everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. I'm Joshua Casper and today I'm going to be teaching you about making your synth groove um, with your break beat without um, doing too much. Real quick easy um, way to do this using the gate effect in Ableton Live. Um, as always follow me on Twitter because um, that's where I post information about tutorials and also music and technology related information and rate subscribe comment here on my YouTube channel you know keep it going you know the drill so anyway um, as usual go ahead and download the source file which is just going to be this Ableton project with this break beat in it and this is what it sounds like okay so next thing you want to do is drop a virtual instrument on here and I'm going to be using the Nexus but you can use any virtual instrument don't freak out because you don't have the Nexus just get a virtual instrument drop it on a MIDI channel and get the synth sound that you want. Go for a lead synth. That's what I'm going to use. And just go ahead and tweak it out, or use a, you know, preset like I'm going to use. Get one that you know sounds good. So that's what we're going to be using right there. Um, once you got your synth ready, double click on this, and it'll give you a bar MIDI section. Take your pen tool and draw in a G for the entire bar, and run that and see what that sounds like. And you know, that's kind of what you figured it was going to sound like, just a sustained G. So the next thing you want to do is come over here to your effects, take your gate, drop it on there, on the MIDI channel, expand it right here, hit side chain, input from the audio one, which is the break beat, and play that and see what you hear now. So you can see that the synth is now still the same synth note traveling for the entire bar, but it's only playing on these kicks right here, like right here, right here, to do do. Um, and if you look, if you look at your breakbeat while that's happening, you can see where the synth is hitting. So if you come into here into your gate effects and um, tweak some of these, like turn the attack down, it'll hit. It will play the synth on um, some of these smaller hits right here where you're not hearing them before. So go ahead and preview that and just see what that sounds like. Maybe. So what I did there was uh, they turned the attack down a little bit, turned the release up a little bit, and then um, I've got kind of the rhythm or the groove to the rhythm, or however you want to say it, um, it's just right along, synchronized with that break beat. Sounds all right. Um, and that's still just that one G note. So another cool thing you can do too is shrink the G note, and then come over here and draw in, you know, a different note to give it some, you know, some more flavor and make it change a little bit more. Run that and see how that sounds. And another cool thing is while I'm running this loop, watch what I'm doing to this hold right here and listen to what it what um you know what happens when I play with that. So that's cool. So if you're in like a live set kind of atmosphere or if you're just doing some recording, you go ahead and MIDI map this hold to a knob on your MIDI controller and you'd be tweaking that out and it's just it adds so much more dynamic to just that one loop that you got. Another quick thing to do too, just make it sound a little bit nicer, is take some reverb and drop it on the whole channel. Um, my Nexus one already has some reverb on it, but you can't really hear it because of the way it's being chopped with the gate. So if you just drop some reverb on there, I'm gonna just use a preset. Um, not that one. I'm gonna use a forest floor preset, just drop it on there and run that and see how that sounds. Bam! Get a little bit of reverb there and everything's sounding nice. And um, that's a quick tutorial but it's very very useful and you can use that for all different, any different loop you want. If you want we can go ahead and just drop in another loop real quick and um, it will give us a whole different sound you know, I'll teach something from BT break loops. 
So we drop that in there and then run that and this synth is now going to be affected by this instead of that so it's going to be a completely different uh, melody happening. So we're going to run it from the beginning and then I'm going to switch to this other breakbeat. That sounds pretty dope too. So all we're doing really is just taking the groove of this loop and making our MIDI synth hit on the groove. So, And then you just come in obviously like I said before into your gate effects and play around with the hold, the attack, and the release and it will you know adjust accordingly to what you're doing down here and you'll get a whole different type of thing going on. And you can come in here and just put a bunch of different notes in instead of just two you know Maybe just give it something like this. See how that sounds. Bam. It sounds hot. It sounds like it should be there. You know, obviously, um, do what you want with that information. But I think that's a very cool thing. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So like I always say, rate, subscribe, comment, and follow me on Twitter. Hit me up. Let me know what you want to know about. And um, I look forward to uh, making next week's video tutorial. Later.